And last time we left off, it was Skelly Skeleton means oh crap. <laughs> it was Skelly something something. And in the bookstore, and we're talking about ID cards. Oh wait, it takes people to figure it out. Fry must be in the top percentage of humans. Well, in addition to protection ID, well, protecting you from being eaten or unwanted advances. If you have one, you also get neat bonuses like a check every month in a house at the age of 30. And you won't get and you'll get married to a non-human. The government takes sure that you always got a job. So I don't really understand a lot of that junk or I'm just retarded. I think I'm retarded. So many benefits just risking your life. Humans are truly lucky. I wish we able to go over there and see if your ID is ready. Just wait, it'll be just a second. She returns less than half an hour later with a square no bigger than a credit card and a bag of muffins. She really likes muffins, right? No. Fry considered why asking a skeleton would be needing a muffins, but it realized it would only lead to another bizarre discussion. Like our discussions aren't already bizarre. Hey, I bought muffins. I ate half of the bag already. They're still pretty good. <laughs> Skelly also brought your card. Don't forget. I mean, she didn't forget. Eh? Why tempest is over there? Like maybe she'd said something, or maybe at least she would have thrown a coin at her. Oh, here, your very own protection ID. According to the ID, Fry's number is three nine three four nine three. Hold on, I, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write that down. I'll be right back. Fry three four nine three. Okay, boom. Cause I think I'm, I think I'm gonna need that later. You know, like you know, like th those games. You know, those visual novels. They have those. They have those kind of things where like you need to remember this. So I, I just wrote it down in case. All right. For the record, Skelly's number is eight thousand five. Where's a pencil? Jesus, I need a pencil. Skelly is eight thousand eighty-five. I mean eight hundred eighty-five. Okay, good. Bruh. Because it looks like boobs. Oh. I had no idea what your last name was, but it turns out you got a record, which is super cool, by the way. The clerk was able to get it from you. Unlucky, right? Oh, it comes from that a manual. You should go over there and get it. It's important stuff, like a curfew. I guess it's goodbye for now. Aw. But it's really cool meeting you. We'd really end up getting some same classes. Cool. She was right. It was cool. She was cool. And her spurging had distracted him long to forget that he was talking to a real live skeleton he dreamed that the day that he'd own his own undead army and it, even if he doodled it in his straight notebooks it finally dawned on that fry was in an entire other world outside his one mall town the world was full of monsters and magical people and the heart and the start of the adventure and there's an oddly attractive skeleton woman leading to guide him the entire way and the first time since the parents had shipped him to this bizarre time fry smiled he smiled and extended his fist towards her. Oh, what's this? You're not looking to fight, are you? I don't have the bone to pick with you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. I saw this in a movie once. Are you saying that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it? Wait, I should take my hair clip off first. It doesn't, so it doesn't explode. Explode. What? Here I go. We're, we're doing it. The fabled bro hand gesture. No one's ever imitated me to a bro club before. Wait, hold on, I have to do this right, guys. Yes! I just realized that Fry, my guy sort of looks like, you know, that one of those greasers from the 80s. Fry is cool, super cool, yeah. No, you're cool. <laughs> This is, a, this is a good game. Aw, oh, look at the time. It's too dangerous for you and me to be after dark. Why didn't I think about this earlier? Wait, I got an idea. Just follow me, I'll solve the problem. This was her plan. To take me to my greaser home. What? A love hotel. Oh, Fry, you gon' get it on, my dude. Uh, it was fine. It's fine, it's fine. Skelly's always got a room open in here. Skelly is my twin brother. Did I mention that already? Well, he is. Wait here, right here. So he did his absolute best to look cool leaning against the wall outside while waiting for her. Like we do. It was hard for not to stare at the couples entering the place. A bird woman and a human male. A cat boy and a human female. Some sort of octopus thing and a human couple. It was strange that he was more happy when she came back and dragged him to their room. Uh, oh. 
There's one bed. You know what that means. I told you I'd fix it. We'd lay low here until tomorrow. We can take the bus to school. I couldn't do anything about the sleeping arrangements, however. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry, Skelly. Uh, Skelly, I, I ain't got no problem with that. Don't worry. I'm too far tired to ravage your sleeping body. Or am I? No, 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 way too tired. So if you have don't have any more questions, I'm gonna hit the hay. Uh, do I have questions? Uh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? You know I do, Bonehead.